Hey everybody, it's Sarah for Chroma Yachty. Welcome to my channel. And today's video is a little different because I'm not making a dang thing. Instead, I have some helpful tips for you on ways to save the moolah when it comes to making pour art. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe below and maybe I'll make some more. So in the beginning, I threw away so much stuff, it's scary. Okay, maybe not that scary, but I did waste a lot of stuff. And now I reuse everything. Item number one, paint. I see this asked all the time in Facebook groups I'm a part of, and yes, you can absolutely keep and reuse your paint. Even if it's been mixed with Floetrol and water, you can still keep it. I actually have so much leftover paint, it's kind of taken over my studio. I keep mine either in squeezy bottles or just in the cups that I mixed it. All you have to do with a cup is just take a sandwich baggie, put a rubber band on it, and you're good to go. Reusing your paint is also going to save you future mixing time, so bonus there. I do have a word of caution though. If you have put silicone in your paint, do not try to keep it. I had to learn this one the hard way. It is gonna make the cells in your paint go crazy. The longer you keep it, the more out of control it's gonna get. Trust me, I had like 20 of these filled with paint and I had to throw them all away. It was a very sad day. Such a sad day. For a bonus tip on how to get the most paint out of a tube, watch this short. Item number two, popsicle sticks. I love using these to stir my paint because they're large and they're flat and they get all the way at the bottom of the cup. What I didn't realize though, is that you can just wipe these babies off, let them dry for a few hours, and then reuse them over and over and over again. Item number three, puppy pads. So you can use all kinds of things to catch your excess paint. I like to use puppy pads because they're super absorbent. That's kind of what they're meant to do. As you can see though, even after I've used it, there's lots of area that's still totally usable. So I definitely reuse these over and over again till the point where obviously they get really gross and I gotta throw them away. Now, if you wanna reuse that paint even further, you can also use one of these silicone mats and you can collect all your paint and you then just pull up your corners and you can dump it into another container and use it in the future. Or you can let the paint dry out and then you'll have skins and you can make jewelry, artwork, all kinds of other stuff with it. Item number four, canvases. So I also see this one asked about a lot. You can absolutely re-pour on old canvases. There's some helpful tips I have for you though, if you're gonna do this. First thing, make sure your paint has dried completely flat. If you have raised areas like this, that's gonna show onto your next painting. But if you do have raised areas, don't despair. I have a little hack for you. Okay, so if you wanna get rid of those ridges and you wanna pour on this again, you just add a tiny bit of water and you're just gonna sand it. It's gonna take a little bit of elbow grease, but it's definitely going to flatten that out for you. All right, now say your canvas has dried and you have a lot of cracking or crazing going on and that's not really gonna sand out. What I like to do then is I just lean into the texture. Texture's beautiful. It doesn't always have to go away in your paintings. I lean into it, I add on top of it even more, I use spackle, I use crackle paste, and I create a totally different piece of artwork. Like this one. If you wanna see how I made this, watch this video right here. Item number five, pantyhose. You hear me right, I said pantyhose. You know you're not wearing them anyway. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and what to do with pantyhose, I'm about to show you. I use these to strain my paint and my float trawl to make sure I catch all the little unmixed paint bits and the, the flow trawl goobers that I'm sure you've all experienced. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So all you gotta do is take your pantyhose, put it around a cup. I just tie it in a knot and flip it underneath. Okay, and then you just pour your paint or your flow trawl. I like to use my popsicle stick, push it down a little bit, 
Now you're thinking, Sarah, why couldn't you just use a sink strainer? Okay, well you can, but you're gonna have to rinse that out in your sink, which means you are putting paint in your sink. You don't wanna do that unless you wanna call your plumber. Don't pour a lot of paint and art supplies down your sink, okay? This, you can just throw it away, call it a day. And when you're done, whoop, get the last little bit out, and all you little goobers gone bye-bye. In all honesty, this list could really be twice as long. I try to reuse everything as much as I possibly can. All you gotta do is get creative, get smart, and you'll be able to stretch those supplies out and save some money. If you have any helpful reusable item tips, share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. And happy painting, everybody!